they're off. Stalls fly back for the Lincoln. The season on the grass starts obviously at Doncaster. Very wise will lift the Lincoln. It's obviously a valuable race. It's the first big handicap of the season. It's a very prestigious race for an old man like me. You know, we like to throw a dart or two at uh, and have done in the past. It's got a lander gamble and do it in great style. A third Lincoln for William Haggis. I think you need a, a young, improving horse. And I think they've got to be end up being stakes horses or, or thereabouts. A day was an exception because he beat Lord Glitters and that was a very strong race that year. But usually most horses are at the top of the handicap, not at their bottom. Well, he came up the stand side rail, so he'll have been high then, um, and he won really impressively. He was ridden by Jimmy Quinn. I think he was off about 76 or 81, very low weight, and he won easily. Very wise this side, being followed by zero so tolerance. He must have been developing at Doncaster. And the race was at Newcastle. I didn't really fancy him much. And Joe Fanning rode him. He was an exposed horse. But he loved it. I think he made all the running and, and, and won easily. Got a great ride from Joe. Um, yeah, I, I, I was really surprised by that. Yards left to go. Very wise kept up to its work. Rio Reaver is cutting away at his advantage. Very wise will lift the Lincoln. And they're off. Stalls fly back for the William Hill Lincoln. He was a young, improving horse. Um, I th suppose with hindsight he was a very good horse, but he went to the sale I think at the end of that year and he wasn't sold for something like 45,000, so it wasn't as if he was, you know, uh, this great horse. But he, he went to David Omar and he, re and he really improved or he got him back to the level uh, which he'd shown in the Lincoln and more and he was a really good horse, very genuine, he loved him I'm sure. I think he won a group race or a few listed races with David. A really good horse, loved soft ground, really genuine, had a great head carriage. Uh, fairly confident about him actually, I thought he was a good horse and we fancied him strongly in the Cambridgeshire and he didn't get in. And he ran in the Silver Cambridgeshire and, and won well and uh, thought, thought he was the perfect type of the Lincoln, he loved soft ground and he really did win well. I mean, he, he went pulling a cart and then he won the Sandown Mile after that, a Group 2 race. And obviously he did his stuff in Australia, but a very, very, very good horse on soft ground. But they haven't seen which way a day went. When he quickened, he won in great style with James Doyle. He was off 99 and he, he got to 125, so you'd probably say that he had a bit in hand on Lincoln Day and he certainly won like that. And he, he, he surprised me and I think James Doyle with, with the ease of which he won.